Moving on to the installation of the bell crank on the left wing. So this project this morning was a good learning lesson. So I've been using the electric drill, which has been pretty helpful. The wireless or cordless uh, electric 90 degree drill. Problem I found today is getting to some of those hard reach spots that aren't gonna work. So I was able to grab one of the uh, short throw 90 degree air drills. That worked out really, really well. So I'll flip the camera around, do a quick video of what that looks like, and then set up and do a quick video of the installation. This is the bell crank on the left wing. It faces inboard. Uh, made some shims this morning. The shims will go underneath right there because this frame sits on this piece of um, a stiffener as well as the bottom part of the rib and so there's a small air gap right through the bottom right there so this shim is a 0 0.025 shim it slides right underneath there I've already pre-drilled to match those holes and cut it to fit between the two slots so that will allow me once I get a couple of uh, rivets drilled or rivet holes drilled I'll slide it back in underneath there to make sure it's nice and flat and where it needs to be. Get that shim underneath there.
And that is the end of the up top side, upper part of the wing bell crank installation. So you'll notice I had to remove the stiffener to be able to drill the holes. And then I put the Clecos from the other side, uh, the other direction to allow me to get the, uh, the Clecos back in and get that stiffener on. Now I'll move the other side. This side is nice and solid. All the holes are good all the way to the bottom. 